I'm doing money palette locations today in Saints Row the Third. I'm um, starting off with the first one, which is in Kamano Place. We're near the airport here. Um, there's the leather and lace, and right across the street here, as you can see from my GPS marker between these buildings, is our first money palette location. Now, uh, 120, we got a thousand bucks. And uh, you can see there's an auto repair here, steel port saving, those across the street, there's a grocery store, and then this is in Bill and Ben and Building. And here you can see the uh, leather and lace. I'll kind of give you an aerial overview in a second here. Alright, you can kind of see this is the aerial overview of now where we were just a second ago. And pretty much right next to that dumpster and in that alleyway there, that's where the pallet was. There's the leather and lace again, and then that's the airport there. Our next money pallet location is actually pretty much right where we were, um, not very far off. Um, you can kind of see this uh, little statue slash tower thing. Here's our money pallet location on top of this building. Just to show you kind of again where we are in the map. Um, commando place still, but also still uh, kind of halfway in Wesley Cutter. That building actually lays in both zones. Um, so it's kind of a distinguishing factor about it. We can just land our helicopter here, which we stole from the airport. Um, and just to kind of show you here, these are the two helicopter pads inside the airport. So all you need to do is go there and you can grab yourself one. Um, and they, every time I've been there, I've seen it. So they're pretty easy to find. There we go, that's two of 20 now. Alright, found our next mini pallet location. Here we are. That's pretty much a GPS location. Uh, still in Commando Place. Um, there's a store right there. Um, we're by the docks, as you can see, and just to the left of that. Um, can't really zoom in much more. But um, find this kind of upside down L shaped almost building. Now, let me show you what it looks like from the front real quick before we land and pick it up. And there's kind of all these like love shop looking things going on here. Uh, I see live trip legs, whatever. Another strip joint type thing. Another one across the street over there. So, basically this is like a red light district or something. And, um, we can go ahead and set our helicopter right down next to this guy. Let's go ahead and pick up this money pallet. That's uh, 3 of 20 now. Alright, we found another money pallet location here. Let's go ahead and look at our map and I'll show you where we are. We're in the Friendly Fire in the southwestern portion of Rosen Oaks. And you can see there's the highway here. Zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, yeah, Friendly Fire, gang operation. There's a meth lab all the way to the east. And just behind these buildings here, you can see there's a power line, that's the highway. We got some major big signs here, what is this, leather and lace. Anyways, um, go ahead and set our helicopter down in this little parking lot. There we go. Let's go ahead and collect our money pallets. That's 4 of 20. As you can see, there's uh, actually a ramp here too, it looks like a jump location. Alright, um, we're kind of in a little bit of trouble here, <laughs> finding our next one. Now, we're in Sierra Port, which is not actually a capturable location, it's a restricted zone, which makes this a little bit difficult. We might end up losing our helicopter and possibly dying, but hopefully we won't. Um, you can kind of see it's in this tower here. Oop. I need to go to my map again so I can show you before I get shot down here. And this is where the tower is, pretty much. And we need to get out of this thing really quick. Oh, run out. And try to quickly run up here while we're getting shot at. Oh. Alright, not good. Oh, shit. Oh no, am I getting killed? Yep, looks like it. Alright, we quickly got it. Alright, we died. But well, we found that money pallet, 
and I think it saved it, so we're okay. All right, I uh, actually just revived, and as you can see, we're still at five of twenty money pallets found. Um, so basically, that confirms that as long as you quickly pick it up before you get completely shot down, um, you get it. And um, we got charged a small amount of money, but eh. Um, we're after the collectibles necessarily more than just the money itself. And we're gonna go pick up another helicopter and continue. All right, we found our next money pallet location here, and a much more <laughs> easy location to get to. Um, we are in Henry Steel Mills. Now we've moved to the central part of the map here. As you can see, here's the highway that crosses into it, and we're just south of there. Um, and here's the highway again from above. Uh, we got these big buildings, and we're just above the railroad tracks, actually. And we can land in this little um, area with this dumpster here. And run out and collect our monies. Now we're at pallet 6 of 20. Alright, we're here with our next Mully pallet location. Um, it's actually a little tricky to find from the air, because it's underneath a bridge here. But we can actually pick it up yep, in the helicopter like so. I'm about to show you on the map where we are. Here we are basically underneath the bridge on the west side of Lorenz Square, um, being the north main bridge as opposed to these smaller bridges you can see here. Um, there's a property here, I don't really know what it is yet. There's Rano's Hookup House nearby, and that's Air Peace Island, as you can see there. And um, it's basically this building here, kind of with pallets on it, right underneath the uh, road. As you can see, my helicopter is starting to smoke a little bit. But, um, and there's this red building. Um, you can see we got some office buildings over to the east, I believe. There's a thunder pump station right there. And, uh, see if that's actually a marked property or something. Nope. Um, we can actually check out what this property is real quick. Let's look on the map. High-rise condos, actually. Um, so yeah, there you go. Um, that shows you where this next uh, money pallet location is. All right, we found our next money pallet here. This is eight out of twenty. I'm about to show you on the map where we are. Um, we're here in Morning Star Sunset, uh, Sunset Park. Um, got some unknown locations around me, so I haven't checked those out yet. But there's Planet Saints, um, and we're way to the east of that. Um, as you can see, there's these two buildings that sort of have this gap in the middle, kind of makes like a parentheses uh, looking thing. <clears throat> and I'm going to take off here. I actually managed to set my helicopter down right in the middle of them. And once we get up in the air, I'll give you a better idea of where exactly we are. Alright, so these are the two buildings there. As you can see, there's got that little pocket in the middle. We've got these railroad tracks that go around. There's a church. A bunch of these uh, saints, billboards, and whatnot. Um, I welcome the steel port sign and the building that uh, contains it. Um, so yeah, and then here's another check on our map. Just again, as you can see, that's the railroad passing around it. So look for the railroad, and then bottom right corner there. All right, we found our next money pallet here. Um, we're right next to the Rim Jobs in Sunset Park, all the way at the south here. Um, right to the west of it across the street, you'll find this block here, and there's these four buildings up at the top and these three at the bottom, in between the four. So where we currently are. And I guess this is the western building here, and you'll find it right on this little uh, kind of side of the house bit there. And I'm going to get my helicopter and give you an overview from above. Okay, so this is us looking at that location. As you can see, it's just where we were. Um, we're up in the air now. Some power lines that run across here and towards the jobs there. Um, we got a Joe Cola factory from the looks of it. Um, and this is, of course, a Joe Cola sign on both the building and up on the billboard nearby. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of exactly where this money pallet is. Oh, and the Hideaway Hotel is nearby as well.
Okay, our next uh, money pallet location is going to be on the um, kind of fake me out uh, Statue of Liberty we got here, which is actually a guy uh, smelting iron, I guess, to some degree. That's what they're trying to represent. Either way, um, you want to land on the southern tip here, put down our helicopter, and go inside this little building here. And within the tunnel, we find a money pallet. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, it's kind of a run-down area. Um, just to show you again on the map, here is our southern location there. And it definitely helps to have the helicopter to get to here, although you might be able to get here with a boat as well. Um, and then you can see there's a sunken, half-sunken ship over there as well. Alright, we here we found our next um, drug package location. This one is a little bit hard to get to, um, unless you jump off the bridge there onto it. But uh, I'm going to show you where we are right now. Um, here, let me set my marker. Friendly fire right next to that in Bridgeport. Um, pretty much just to the left. As you can see, we can see the friendly fire from here. We're just going to touch down. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Ooh, there we go. We can just step right up. Now we've got our next money pallet. You can also look for the uh, water tower here, sitting on top of this very thin building uh, that actually stands higher than the ones next to it. And there's no stairs to get on top, unfortunately. But uh, here's a little bit more of the surrounding area. Um, you can see the steel port building from here. Uh, there's a thunder pump right there. So yeah. Alright, here's our next pallet. We are just north of the factory in New Baranek of Luchador's territory. There's Let's Pretend uh, on the same block as we are, and we're on the southern part of the block, but in the middle of the buildings here, as you can see. I'll give you a little overview. There's this large casino looking building over there. I got some factories nearby. Uh, Poseidon's Palace is right over there. Um, that would be to the east of us. We're just going to go ahead and touch down in the middle. Oop, that is a little bit rough. We're okay. We're go ahead and click this pallet from the dude. And now we're at 12 of 20. Hey, okay, here's our next money pallet. Um, we're actually behind the three chance casino or three rolls or something like that the one with a big luchadoras guy on top of it as you can see here port prior is the name of the actual area south of new baranek um yearwood bridgeport grove um uh, we're basically close to the water's edge we're kind of hovering near the tip of um that's an interesting uh what the hell is that anyways um so, you know, a crane, at the tip of the uh, ship, basically, um, or this particular one. And um, you'll find our uh, little pallet inside of one of these uh, freight containers that's popped open here. We've got a couple guys standing around a fire. And that's 13 out of 20. Uh, whatever, guys. Um, but yeah, and, um, once again, uh, I might have mentioned this earlier in the video, but we haven't done any missions past the first three so far, which gives us a good start here. Um, but yeah. Okay, next uh, pallet location is going to be the Grove here. You can see the railroad tracks um, right above Old Steel Factory there. And um, find these uh, abandoned uh, rail carts or whatever, and um, you'll just touch down in the grass right next to them here. And you can see the arrow again, like uh, above the um, container itself. So that helps you locate it. Um, that's 14 of 20 there. I'm gonna get in the air and give you a little more uh, look at the nearby. Can anyone say Ooh, kind of went right into the tree there. But uh, here you can see an aerial overview 
um, of our little location. And once again, um, right there, there's Shondi's Loft to the west of us, that friendly fire, and there's another friendly fire here to the east. Here's our next pallet location. Uh, a little hard to see um, from the air right now, but you can kind of see the pallet and the arrows hidden behind the grating there. Um, we are currently on Arapiece Island. Um, you can see the railroad tracks, how they make this Y. Um, there's the rim jobs there. Um, basically, uh, at the top of the Y, you could say, you'll find this uh, building connected to this long series of walkways that kind of lead us around the uh, whole industrial facility. I'm going to try to touch down in this open space between these two freight cars. And then we're going to need to walk up the steps here. back in our helicopter. And from above, you can kind of see the Y I was talking about, um, and how those tracks end into the road there. Um, well, actually, that one continues past. But there's these large silos and smokestacks all around, and it's kind of in the middle of all of that, so... That gives you a good idea. Here's our next money pallet location. We are in Brixton, um, right by the West Highway, or uh, West Bridge, um, that crosses over into Yearwood. Um, there's a store, I haven't found that yet, but we're uh, west of the Red Onion Herb Dispensary. As you can see, there's this house here, and a porch, and on the porch is the money pallet. And there's the Rusty's Needle um, sign here by the bridge. We've got factories sort of behind us, Kitty Style, and uh, Saints uh, building of some kind. But um, and then there's the Murder Ball building. We're gonna go ahead and land my helicopter right about here. Run along, climb up here, and take the money while wow, that lady has her coffee. Here's our next money pallet location, um, actually quite close to where we were before, um, really just a block up um, from the previous building and one building over to the left. And we can land on the top of here, uh, and probably squeeze it in right about there. Oh, almost. Yep, we got it. So I don't even have to worry about uh, going down those steps. And around. That's great. And here we go. Next money pallet. It kind of gives you uh look at what the building is. And then there's a thunder, or a thunder pump over there. Uh, just across the street from us here. Okay, I just wanted to add something real quick. Um, I was mistaken. Um, there's actually a drug pallet here. Um, I had gotten confused for a second. Um, but either way, um, I think I gave a pretty good idea of where everything was. Friendly Fire, that's uh, Saints um, Clothing Store. Uh, I can't remember the name right now. But, you know, here in Salander, um, and then we've got this property right here that's currently unknown. But, um, either way, um, that should show you where this particular pallet is. Okay, here's our next money pallet location. Um, Get this guy out of the way. Ain't no one can top me. All right. 
Now we've got Mummy Pallet 18 out of 20. And this is Smiling Jacks. As you can see, I ran all the way to the back, to the picture, to the left, and left again. And I'm going to give you an overview now. But that's the Smiling Jack Steiner. And it's not a marked location on your map, but you can enter it. And um, we're here in Salander. That's kind of where it is. You've got this unknown property, and this is a Saint's clothing store, actually. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of kind of rundown neighborhood around uh, some factory type buildings and um, various other things. Uh, cyber. What is that called? Cyber what? Cyber loose? Or cyberlesque. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. But yeah, so that shows you where that is. Okay, our next money pallet is going to be here in Burns Hill. We've went north now, and we're right next to the meth lab. And you can kind of see there's this empty block right here in between all these neighborhoods. And that's a very distinguishing factor about this location. You can kind of see the pallet there by that tree in the middle of this park, which is what it is. And then we've got all these various houses around us. Um, you know, there's some factories in the distance, and uh, there's that church looking thing, and then we've got the power plants right there. We're going to touch down and collect this pallet. And I think we've got one more after this, and then that's it. Yep, that's 19 of 20. Um, so one more to go. Here is our final money pallet. We are in Ashwood. Kind of northeast of Nobody Loves Me. Um, there's another unknown store, and we're far south of Snooky's Sundries. <laughs> I wonder if that's a Jersey Shore reference. Um, which is something I don't watch, but unfortunately know about. Uh, either way. Okay. That kind of sucks. But it seems that our helicopter has totally bugged out. Whatever. We got the 20th money pallet. Now we got 2,000 and we finished this uh, collecting task here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Here, I just wanted to add real quick at the end of this um, a little extra over aerial overview here. We got this nearby park um, to the south of us and you can see the fountain. Um, you can actually see a building which has a <laughs> drug pallet off in the distance. And um, yeah, um, that pretty much covers all of this.